Hello and welcome to Monmouth in Focus, a program about the services and functions of Monmouth County government. I'm Cynthia Scott, your host for this segment of Monmouth in Focus. Today we are joined by Freelder John Curley, who serves as the liaison to the county's fire academy. Freelder, thanks so much for joining us today here on Monmouth in Focus. Always a pleasure to be in the studio with you. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. The, the fire academy <clears throat> in Monmouth County um, is going to hit a milestone. Let's talk about how exciting that is and what is the milestone? Well, we have the finest fire academy, I believe, in the entire state of New Jersey. And I credit freeholders of the past, particularly uh, uh, former freeholder Ted Narazanic. And Ted will be celebrating his 93rd birthday oh, in October. Wow. Uh, but uh, Ted was extremely instrumental in making sure the financing was there for the fire, fire academy. Um, we are going to uh, reach the milestone of our 100th and 101st class. And that, Cynthia, will give us uh, over 2,000 graduates in the Fire Academy uh, history. And that is just wonderful in looking at how well-trained our people are that uh, sure. are on those trucks and uh, on foot. And obviously, the, the Monmouth <clears throat> County Fire Academy, anybody that wants to be a firefighter obviously has to go to the academy. What types of classes um, will they take, and can anyone sign up? Yes, anyone can sign up, and, and volunteerism is certainly needed uh, in our local departments. Uh, they can go to their local department, express the interest. Uh, they can go on the, on their uh, own and, uh, and uh, sign up to take uh, fire academy courses. Okay. We have two classes, uh, usually in September and another in February. And right now, the February uh, 2014 classes, that is open enrollment going on at this moment. So I urge anyone who's interested to, to please participate. You know, it, it's amazing when, when you hear about firefighters, uh, especially in the wake of, of, of the Seaside Park fire, which is just so devastating. You know, there's so many people, volunteer firefighters. You know, it, it's amazing how much time they donate. This is, this is not just a job for them. This is, this is you know, a passion, really. Yes, it, it certainly is. It has to be a passion uh, to put your life on the line like that. And it was devastating uh, to see what's transpired in Seaside, Seaside Park. Uh, just awful uh, coming off uh, Superstorm Sandy mm -hmm. and to receive a, a, a double smack uh, of tragedy. Uh, but, you know, our firefighters are trained in, in uh, simple things like knot tying. They deal with uh, uh, automobile fires, engine fires. Uh, they deal with uh, courses and how to rescue individuals from a burning structure. Um, they deal with chemical fire. Mm. Uh, they deal with uh, fuel fire. And they are well-trained in doing that. It's, it's not like the old days where they learned on the job. Uh, right. the, these uh, individuals go in and they are true trained professionals. Sure. Like I said, such dedicated men and women, brave men and women as well. I would imagine most of the fire departments or the fire companies in Monmouth County are volunteer. Yes, most of them are. There are a couple that are not, and that's Asbury Park and Long Branch. Mm -hmm. uh, Long Branch does have some volunteer firefighters, however. Um, and, and most of them are volunteers. And as I've always said, volunteerism is the fabric of our society. Absolutely. Without volunteerism, and if we had to have paid departments, uh, both the EMT and fire departments, none of us would be able to afford to live in the great state of New Jersey. Sure, sure. Now, the paid firefighters will also go to the fire academy, correct? Yes, it's open to uh, paid as well as volunteer firefighters. Mm -hmm. There are those individuals who uh, go on and get associate degrees and uh, bachelor's degrees in fire science. Mm -hmm. uh, Ocean County College offers that uh, as, uh, as a transfer program. And here at uh, Brookdale Community College, Kane College also offers a bachelor's degree program through the Community program. Mm -hmm. And we're very, very proud of the Community program and all the accomplishments uh, here at Brookdale. And, you know, we talk about volunteerism, Freeholder. You know, it's not just them volunteering, you know, a few hours, a month, five. I mean, these firefighters, when there's a fire... It's 24-7 for them. Yeah, it is 24-7, and the training is a four-month period. Uh, so that's a tremendous commitment of time. Uh, and uh, I know a lot of them, uh, the families, uh, have to say goodbye for a period of time, mm -hmm. even though it, it, it's not a, uh, a live-in uh, live uh, situation. They travel to the fire academy. But, yes, you know, when that alarm goes off, Cynthia, uh, you never know right. what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, sometimes uh, awful tragedies take place to family people, both men and women. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've lost a lot of firefighters. We have a program here in Monmouth County to salute those fallen firefighters. That'll be coming up very, very soon. Sure. And we do that at the Fire Academy. How about um, how many fire companies we have in Monmouth County? We have 131 fire companies in the mm -hmm. county. Mm -hmm. Uh, to serve all 53 municipalities and 630,000 residents. Mm -hmm. So it's a mammoth task. Uh, obviously, one fire company can uh, cross borders and help out with another. Sure. Uh, last night uh, in Seaside, that was a 10-alarm fire uh, that was called out, uh, predominantly Ocean County Fire Departments, but Monmouth County Fire Departments also aided. But it's, a, you know, a tremendous diversity in, in population, a tremendous uh, diversity in, uh, in real estate, okay. from our farmland uh, to the far western part Absolutely. of the county, Allentown, up a Freehold Township, uh, into Freehold Township, into our urban areas uh, along the coast, Asbury Park, Long Branch, Red Bank. And uh, then we have our uh, more suburban communities uh, that, uh, you know, deal with also the same aspects, but varying aspects. All right. Freeholder, thanks so much, and we commend those brave men and women who dedicate so much time to helping others. As do I. And that is all the time we have for this segment of Monmouth in Focus. For more information, you can go to www.visitmonmouth.com. I'm Cynthia Scott. Have a great day, everyone.